Hey everyone, it's Steve from Network Advisor. In this video, I'm going to be doing a crimp uh, RJ45 end onto a Category 5E cable. You could also use the same process for a Category 6 cable. And I'm going to be doing something a little new this time. I know you've seen me do this before, but today I have a new tool called the Untwist tool, which I'll take out of this box in just a minute. The other tools I need are a crimping tool and something to cut the jacket off the uh, Category 5E cable with. And then, of course, I'll need the crimp on end and, of course, may or may not have a boot to go with it. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put the boot on, get that out of the way. Because a lot of times I forget if I don't do that early on. I'm going to strip back, oh, about an inch and a half of cable. All right, get that off of there. Now, sometimes you get lucky and the cable breaks like that, nice and clean. Ideally, what you want is a nice round end like that. You can use cable stripping tools for that if you want. I'm not a big fan of them. Um, or you can even uh, use that pull string to pull back and take off some extra jacket, use the scissors to trim them. I don't really want to go into that right this second. All right, what I'm going to do now, and the reason I wanted to make this video and, and, and feature the untwist tool, is that what this tool does is it aids in speeding up the process. So let me show you why. So if I take this thing out of its box, it is basically like a round attachment that goes on to either a an electric screwdriver or could go on a drill, although I don't know if it, it would make sense to put it on a drill. Um, you can just put a regular screwdriver and it comes with a built-in shank and then also an adapter shank um, for bigger ports on your screwdriver. So like if you want to do it like that. Now I personally have been playing with this and I have found it's actually easier for me just to hold it in my hand and do this process. So, uh, and if you look online, there are videos about this tool, the untwist tool, where it's being used with electric screwdriver and that might speed things up, but I've found I've, I've done just fine with this. So here's, here's where the convenience comes in. So you get these wires right here and we need to have all these wires untwisted and flat before we can put this end on. So that's where this comes in. And what I've done is I've played with it enough to kind of figure out that you take the end and you take the wire and you kind of have a meet at about a 30 degree angle and then you just begin to kind of lightly twist this end and what it does is there's little there's little bitty fins inside there and they find the separation and then as you twist down they split them open like that okay now one of the things that I was talking to the inventor of this tool and uh, he told me that oftentimes people when they get this tool, one of the first things they want to do is start taking their thumbnail and splitting the wires apart right here before they start. You can do that if you want, but you don't need to, and it kind of defeats the purpose of the time-saving advantage that this tool offers. So if you just take the time to to practice with this, I, I think I had to practice on maybe, I don't know, four or five cuts before I kind of got the hang of it. Um, I realized you didn't need to do that anymore. So, you know, you can if you want. If you don't mind spending that time, you can. And so I found like this one where it takes a little, a little bit more kind of kind of going back and forth to get it to hit just right. Um, but you, you get a feel for it. And it really does speed speed things up with the separation of the wire. And I know there's that, that trick that I've seen on the internet where you, you take the, the, the piece of the jacket and you do that. That's never really worked well for me. I've tried it. And if it works for you, great. Um, but here's the piece that this, where I feel really comes in handy and saves on sore fingers if you do this all day long, is it's almost like, think of like a clothes iron. It's like a clothes iron for wire. Look at this. Look, see, look how crooked those are right here. It's got these little bitty grooves. I don't know if you can see those on the camera. And the little bitty grooves just flatten out the wires, make them nice and straight. And you don't have to do this, but maybe one or two times. And so you flatten out these wires with the with the grooves in the tool and then watch in a second as I go to put them all together. Okay, so I got all my wires nice and flat, right? Pretty cool, huh? All right. So anyway, so getting back to the making this this crimp end. So what I want is on the far left, I want to have my white and my orange. So the white is on the outside then the orange is on the right side like that. Okay, then the next thing I need is I'm going to split the green pair. So I need the white part of the green pair. In other words, what's known as the green white. I need that. And then in the center, I'm going to have my blue pair, except that I want the ring or the, the dark blue or the, 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 the non-striped blue to be the next one and then the white blue. All right, so just, just to recap, we're white orange, orange, white green, and then blue, and then blue white. All right, and then we take and put the other side of the green 
next. And then last is the brown pair, which is going to be the white and the brown. All right. I love it. They're all flat. This is great. This is usually where I, I spend a lot of time doing this, trying to get them flat, but they're all they're already flat now. So then what I do is I, I generally like to have about a finger's width of, of space between the end of the jacket and where I cut the top of the wires before I do the crimp. All right, so let me cut that real quick. Got my little brown, brown white trying to get away from me there. All right, cut that. Nice and flat across like that. And then I kind of, when I'm doing this, and you might have to do this a few times to get the hang of it, I kind of keep pressure on here while I take and I lay these wires down in the bottom of the of the uh, the, the fitting or the, the RJ45 connector. And then what you'll see is as you push up slowly, is each one of those wires ideally will fit right into the appropriate slot. Okay, so you should have one wire under each one of these little gold teeth. And you could also kind of flip it around here to see. Now that one I might have cut a little bit on the short side. It'll still work, but ideally I like to see that wire come all the way to the very end to where the wires are all pressing up against the end. So a little bit on the short side, but that would still work. All right, and then what you finally do, you take your crimp tool and you put it in there like that. And you give it, oh, one... One should be enough, but I do it too, just for superstition, I guess. All right, and voila. So that is my RJ45 crimped end on a Cat5 E cable. You could use the same process for a Cat6 cable. And that was showcasing the untwist tool, which sped up the process of separating and straightening out the wires. Um, there's a link to it in the um, description of this video, and uh, check it out. Okay, thanks for watching.